Wow. Just, wow. 700 subscribers. Plus, I've noticed a recent influx in Twitter followers, too. I'm not sure if my subscription count is still going higher right now or anything. But, uh, feels like, uh, I don't know, maybe someone took notice and decided to showcase me. I don't know. It's probably not possible. I doubt I'll get that big, that soon, that quick, that any. Anyway, thank you guys so much for 700 subscribers. It really means a lot. Now, I actually don't know what to talk about for this. <laughs> oh, I do know one thing, actually. Um, well, actually, a few things. First off, noting, as usual, my Patreon. You know, you can go check it out in the description below to, uh, <coughs> to donate to it. Uh, and whatever you end up donating will help me out in furthering my channel, etc. and whatnot. Um, in addition, um, I was planning on continuing the things wrong with each Pokemon Gen thing, you know, the top 10 list that I did with that. But it turns out that, well, it's a bit of a complicated thing. Because sometimes with the lists, I would end up uh, checking the YouTube channel A Brand Into the Past for uh, references. Apparently, however, I could have sworn he did, but apparently he did not make a 50 Things Wrong with Pokemon Generation 5 video, even though I could swear he did. I mean, he made one for Gen 6, and he made one for the remakes of Gen 1, 2, and 3, so it's kind of weird that he wouldn't make one for uh, Gen 5, although I could have sworn he did. Either way, after Googling on the internet, there's not much I can find that is truly negative with Gen 5, admittedly. Most of what everyone says is usually just, well, for starters, there's the character N, who actually is very, pretty damn well developed if you think about it. But at the same time, people are really like, eh, nah, nah. so I can't really put that in. Plus, almost everyone can agree that the Pokemon designs were the worst thing about it. But... I don't want to end up skipping this gen, so for anyone who has played the Pokemon Generation 5 games, whether they be Black and White or Black 2 and White 2, leave your comments down below on what you consider are things wrong with Pokemon Gen 5. It will be very much helpful, and I'll try to even credit you for whatever entry I end up using. Just the way that I credit uh, whoever for the footage that I use because I can't record from a 3DS or DS or anything because I don't have a capture card for this shit. In addition, um, uh, I have been debating on. I'm kind of going back and forth uh, between once uh, some money comes in getting WWE 2K17 again because of the fact that now all the patches have clearly fixed a number of problems. Like, uh, before the patch, I've seen people on Twitter stating that it is the most broken and bug-filled bug game they've ever played. And then after the first patch, after the post-release patch, I should say, uh, I asked someone on Twitter who had voiced his opinions about that, and he said it was a lot more tolerable after patch 1.02. So, However, the other one I really want to get real bad is Return to Arkham, and... Yeah, I, it's because either way, I'm getting the other one a month later. I thought I'd get 2K17 to get that out of the way because I got enough money in the reserves left over, I believe, to afford the season pass for the DLC and such. I don't know. So, yeah. Thank God for patches. Otherwise, fuck, I just wish they had more time to fucking work on the game and bug, bug test it, for God's sake. Anyway. Um, next review, as we know, is coming up this Wednesday. After that, I don't know what to do a video on because I was planning, again, to do things wrong with Gen 5, but apparently there's problems with that already, so I'm going to have to scrape the bottom of the barrel to see what I can find. Although there is one request someone had for The Lion King on Sega Genesis. That game is hard, though. I don't think I've ever actually beaten one level. I think I had to actually use either a cheat device or some sort of special in-game level skip thing. I don't know. I can't remember if there even is one. I don't know. So, wish me luck with that one. Um, and, uh, 
yeah, leave your uh, thoughts, leave your like suggestions and such are always welcome in the comments below as well. And um, uh, let's see, what else is there? Um, uh, I guess I should at least put on these for spade because, you know, I know I'll look like a tool and maybe this is what got the dislikes anyway, but... Yeah. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, I don't want to talk politics, but I will say this. You are loved. You matter. No matter what happens or what people say, you are important to this world and never fucking forget that. Okay? Okay. Oh, you know, I will say this, actually. YouTube is going crazy right now. Like, more so than usual. Because apparently there's a bug where apparently, um, if you're inactive on a channel, Regardless of if you're active or not, you're going to get unsub or something like that. And it's really fucked up, really. So, um, I don't normally I don't normally give this out as a suggestion or anything, but make sure you... You see the little bell there next to my you, you, username next to the subscription icon? Uh, click that and make sure to check that you have notifications of when my videos come up, regardless of what they are and all that. So that'll be helpful. Um, I was also thinking of like deciding to kind of stream on occasion on Twitch but I don't know what games to stream I mean I've been thinking like once I get returned to Arkham I would stream that for a bit you know following the footsteps of my friend the Badger show and um, and all that but uh, I, don't, I don't know maybe I would do that I don't know honestly maybe I'll just stream 2k17 with the patches done and showcase some stuff like in my career and such I don't know uh, uh, let's see. You know what? Because of YouTube being a fuck up, let's uh let's promote some channels, some friends of mine. You know, Onyx the Gaming Machine. He recently got a PS4, so he's gonna try and stream every Tuesday. I don't know exactly uh what he'll be streaming much. I know he's been playing Doom as of late because I've seen his activity on on the PS4. So that ought to be enjoyable to watch because Doom. <laughs> I remember, I remember playing the Doom demo for you guys. It was amazing. Like, really fucking amazing. Holy fuck. Is, mm, I just hope to get that game soon, too. And um, then there's the Mink Deadpool independent Let's Player. Uh, he's hoping to get a computer uh, for, like, Christmas and such and all that. Because uh, he wants to get back into Let's Plays. Right now, all he's doing is, like, streams. Like, streams on occasion. Like, I believe he's, I believe earlier he was doing a stream on Final Fantasy VII. And tomorrow, or Wednesday, I forget which it was, he does streams for Arkham Knight on Wednesdays, I believe. And then some stuff like Let's Chill, playing some Resident Evil HD. Which I believe it was noted that Resident Evil Zero is on Resident Evil HD. I don't know. I can't confirm. I keep forgetting on that one. I don't know, I'm just going by what the Game Grumps said, so fuck that. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, no, I enjoy the Game Grumps, so. Uh, then there's the Badger Show. He streams every now and then, and every two every two weeks on a Saturday, we all get together for a Badger cast and talk certain things. So, yeah, check him out so that we can, uh, you know, get that thing going more often. Uh, there's X and X. He's my thumbnail guy. He hasn't been too active on YouTube as of late, but now he's making... Very peculiar, yet very interesting musical track, so I'd give him a check it out. Uh, there's Dark Star Media, who um, does like some videos, like useless so-and-so facts, but she's definitely a very entertaining piece of work, and I would check her out too. Um, trying to think more off the top of my head. There's Lady Boobs Views, who I believe does vlogs. I don't know, I haven't checked her out too much. Maybe you can check her out and tell me for yourself. Then there's uh, Time Bunny, though I don't know what she does. Um, uh, I know this is a dumb channel to suggest because it's much bigger right now, but Kieran Benji, Kieran Benji, I don't know what his pronoun says, is a very entertaining YouTuber who really deserves a lot more... Um, you know, recognition, though he, he's got like 20,000 subscribers, but his views don't equate to that much, so I would check him out and such. He's really entertaining, and I feel like he really deserves a lot more than what he's got. I remember checking him out ages ago. I think, I don't know how much his sub count has actually changed since then, so for all I know, he could have been stuck in limbo in terms of subscriptions and whatnot, but 
yeah, do uh, check him out, check out all the people I mentioned and stuff. I'm sure I'm forgetting some people. I'm sorry if I am, but uh, just, you'll probably find him out, like, either way, I'm sure. So just check out all the guys that I suggested and stuff. I just wanted to prolong this video long enough because I don't know what else to talk about. I don't think I can do this every 50 subs, especially if the channel starts growing in a tremendous rate. Believe me, it's going to be weekly. I don't know. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. Again, thank you guys so much for 700 subscribers. Big hug. Mm. This is not a good hug. I'm sorry. I, I'm not good with hugging chairs with laptops on them. I don't know. Hopefully I'll get uh, better recording equipment maybe sometime in the future. All I know is hopefully things will look up. You know, also another thing I just wanted to quick mention. It has been roughly two years since that fateful day where I almost ended my life. I have mentioned this in my 500 subscriber video. Go back there if you want to check it out. Um, basically, some shit went down. Uh, I was in a bad place. And um, friends that I, people that I thought were friends ended up stabbing me in the back and I told them I was going to end my life to come stop me if they really cared. They never came. And I did almost end my life, in all honesty. Days later, though, I got the phone call that thankfully saved my life. And now I'm doing this on a more regular basis, a weekly basis, and all that. So that's pretty enjoyable. I'm actually very um, happy for that, that I've managed to get this far. And not even try anything suicidal or even have any suicidal thoughts since then. So that's always a good thing. Uh, I won't include this part in the title, obviously, because then YouTube is going to be like, No, you're not friendly for the consumer. I mean advertiser. I mean, yes, consumer, I meant. For God's sakes, YouTube, get your fucking head on straight. Uh, actually, not thinking about it. I've been thinking of uh, streaming some Steam games I recently got, like Castle of Illusion. I got that thanks to someone who uh, traded me the game for some Team Fortress 2 stuff or something like that. So... I also got Nights into Dreams, I also got uh, Psychonauts, so, I don't know, maybe something will go on with that. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching my stuff. It's a real pleasure entertaining you all. You can click that like button, like button to show support. You can subscribe for more reviews and quick bits and possibly streams here and there. I've been, like I said, I've been debating on doing it on Twitch for a bit, so who knows. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, I think that's about it. I'll see you guys this Wednesday for my next review. And yeah, see you guys next time. Take care and you are loved and you are amazing. Stay awesome, guys.